So with the sudden announcement from Arrow Garden that they're going to be closing their doors and going out of business at the beginning of 2025, I thought it was the perfect time to show you guys how I make my DIY low pressure aeroponic garden. This particular model is like version 10.0 or something. I've honestly made so many different low pressure aeroponic gardens, starting out with more uh, complicated and kind of convoluted gardens uh, like this one and working my way back to much more simple builds like the one I'm gonna show you guys today. As I found out, as simple is more effective and has the least room for error. Uh, like with this garden, what I ran into was the if one of the the heads got clogged, then an entire like corner of the garden is going out. So the less spray heads I found, the better. And like usual, I made you guys a guide that you can download for free to go along with this build at humblegrowthhydroponics.com or right here. So make sure you download that. It's gonna be a great resource when you're building this garden. So let's get into it. Step one. All right, first we're gonna place the lid securely on the bin and drill out our two inch holes. You can put as many as you want in here. I'll tell you the more you put in, the more you're gonna compromise the structural integrity of the bin. So I stuck with uh, this many and I feel like this is a pretty good amount. I made my main row right across the middle and I did some off to the sides too. Next, we're gonna place the pump on the bottom and then attach that half inch PVC adapter so we can put the uh, PVC pipe in. And we're gonna cut that PVC pipe. We're gonna cut one two inch section out of it. And then we're gonna cut two five inch sections out of it, approximately. Honestly, mine ended up coming out more like three inches and four inches. Next, we're gonna place the PVC caps on the ends of the pipe, assemble the whole thing and put it onto the pump. I don't use any glue in any of my builds because I don't want glue in my gardens. I just make it so they can come apart. I haven't had an issue with this flying apart or anything like that. There isn't enough pressure built up inside of a garden to make it disassemble itself. I just like to have it like this so that it can come apart for cleaning or if anything ever goes wrong, much easier. And it also avoids me having things like uh, strange chemicals like glues and stuff in my garden. And then we're gonna drill the hole in each of the pipes. Next, we're gonna run the plug through a hole that we drill in the top side of the bin, and then we can use a pool noodle. So let me take a second here to, to share a little hydro hack with you. You can use a pool noodle and cut it um, like this, and then cut it like this, and then use this to fill two inch holes. Uh, typically, net pots would go into these holes if we don't have net pots or if we're cloning and we're using something like a low pressure aeroponic garden or fog and we don't want it to escape the garden. Using something like this works really well, and these are a lot cheaper than cloning cuffs. So I use these a lot now. I just take a pool noodle and cut it up and shove it into the holes. All right, then we're gonna fill it with our nutrient water. And we're gonna set this pump to run for 15 minutes on and 30 minutes off. So these are clones that I did in this garden. This garden works exceptionally well for cloning. And you can see I'm getting those beautiful aeroponic kind of hairy roots from the, the low pressure aeroponic environment. And these would be week three clones. And as you can see, they are just growing so well in this garden. I've had great experience with these gardens. You can grow a lot of lettuce, your herbs, anything with shallow roots grow really, really well in these gardens. They also work great for cloning. And if they don't have shallow roots and they end up going down into the deep water culture, that's totally fine too, as long as you keep the roots away from the pump. You don't want the pump sucking up the roots. Now, the reason we can't run the pump a lot longer is because the pump will heat up the water, and if the water gets too hot, that'll cause root rot and a lot of other issues. Otherwise, I'd say just leave the pump on all the time, but when I've done that, my water ends up getting well above like 85 degrees. So I would advise against leaving the pump on at all times. That's why I do 15 on and 30 off, is to allow the pump to cool down and the water temperature to cool back down a little bit. So I hope this has been really helpful for you. Don't forget to download that guide at humblegrowthhydroponics.com, and let's grow together. Thank you.